going on guys? Okay, so I know I uploaded a video, it was kind of like an update video of like the past like two months. But anyways, this is not an update video, this is strictly for like Pokemon Go viewers of my channel. I mean, unless you just watch in general. For you too. Uh, so, we just had the global catch like challenge or whatever. Uh, a bunch of players were sponsored by Niantic, a part of it. They did a, I don't it was like over in Japan or something like that. I don't remember the whole, I don't want to go through the whole detail. Most of you already know about it. Anyway, so we, the goal was to catch 3 billion Pokemon. We were successful, we did it. Um, hold on one second. And then, if we were successful, which we were, we were going to get Farfetch'd in the US. And then they were going to have Kangaskhan, like in the eastern countries or something like that. I could be wrong, like I said, I'm not getting going to go all the way into detail about this. I just wanted to share what happened yesterday. So that I can try and somewhat keep up with uh, what's going on in the Pokemon Girl world right now. Anyways, so we'll get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to do a screen recording right now so that y'all can see everything. Like I said, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already know if you watch other Pokemon Go YouTubers. Uh, but I'm screen recording right now so y'all can see. So basically, Ho-Ho has been released. And he's going to be released to everyone, not just like the EX Raid system, which I will get into after this whole Ho-Ho thing, tell you how my ex or my experience went. I never even talked about it, not even telling you, or never even talked about getting an EX Raid pass, but I'll get into that in a second. So anyways, Ho-Ho's released to everyone. It's here till December 12th, so we have like two weeks to catch him. Uh... I'm not really going to get into the whole counters, because like I said, everybody probably already knows, but uh, Amistar is one, I guess I'll just say who real quick is like the good counters, I guess. Amistar, Gollum, Raikou, Tyranitar, Zapdos, Vaporeon, and Gyarados. So your Water, your Electric, and your Rock type are the best takedown for Ho-Ho, it's his weakness. Um, I guess his perfect CP for 100% IVs is 22-22, so... Uh, that's for level 20, perfect, 100% IV. Um, his, the raid boss max is 40, or 48,276, uh, CP, that's to take it down. Um, let's get into a little bit more here. Like I said, it's, um, not an EX invite, this is just strictly for everyone. Although the really cool thing about this is, uh, is that they released the shiny variants along with just like the normal one it's itself. So if you get lucky, you might get a shiny uh, Ho-Ho. That would be really dope. I only have one shiny. And it was from the Halloween event, which was really successful. But yeah, so I'm trying to think of what else I can share real quick. Oh yeah, his his catch rate is 2%. Um, I'm probably going to go get ready and do it right here. Like I said, I can't do like Pokemon Go vlogs anymore because I don't really have a camera and my iPad doesn't have a case so that I can like set it up. So right now it's just kind of like resting against the back window. Um, but yeah, his two, uh, like I said, or else I would go and do this. Uh, maybe I'll do a screen recording so I can add it because like I said, I'm going to go and attempt my first Ho-Ho raid in about an hour or so. Uh, but yeah, his, we'll get back into this now. Um, so his 2% catch rate is not that great, but... Uh, I guess um, they're comparing him to the catch rate of Lugia. And I got two Lugia before they were gone. So hopefully I don't have a major issue. So yeah, that's that's the news as far as just recently what happened. Hold on, I'm trying to get this camera in or lighting to settle a little bit here. My iPad's very old, so. Um, but yeah, that's as far as news what happened yesterday. Uh, like I said, the whole Pokemon Go travel event went so well that we did so great, and we kept going more. I guess they, like, showed us a calculation of, like, how we did even after that. And this event ends December 1st, so right now we have Double XP, Double Stardust, which has been very helpful, even though I haven't hit 100,000 yet. I'm just, I've used so much of it. And then uh, we have Six Hour Lures, which have been really beneficial, Talk about picking things off. They also release more like rare spawns that you don't normally see, which is kind of cool. Um, but that's, like I said, uh, 
I don't remember exactly how the whole calculation thing worked for like Kangaskhan and uh, Farfetch'd, but I did a, I did, I caught a ton of Farfetch'd, I went through them all last night to figure out which ones were good and which ones were bad. I think I kept like three or four or something like that. But anyways, now I want to get into something that happened over the weekend, or happened Sunday. Uh, my EX Raid. I feel like I record, I did record this, but then I wanted to make a separate video on it, but it was just too long, I didn't have the time to edit it. So anyways, I don't have the pass anymore, and I'd, I think I might have the video still, let me check real quick. Okay, so I still have the videos from like showing that I got the pass, the video from showing where the pass was. So anyways, uh, I did a screen recording of the battle itself. I did actually catch Mewtwo, so I'm one of like very few in the group that I've like raid with. That has me too. I'll screen record real quick so y'all can like see, you know, what mine looks like. I think it's screen recording. Anyway, so my Mewtwo is like 90 something percent, if I'm correct. Uh, like I said, I also screen recorded, recorded uh, the whole battle scene and the catch sequence too. But yeah, it was an overall awesome experience. I really didn't think I was going to get to go, I thought I was going to luck out last second, but, um, my sister and Jacqueline were able to go downtown with me, so we spent the whole day, like, Sunday just downtown, um, like I said, it was a super fun experience, I met a lot of new people, uh, like, a whole Facebook group or Discord that's, like, does Pokemon go downtown, so there was, there was a good amount of us that were at this raid, uh, we had to split up into a few, we split up into, like, two or three different groups, unfortunately, I did hear that, like, just after I caught mine, along with like five other people or six other people or something. No, there was more than that. There was like 10, 12 of us in a group or something like that. 15, I don't remember. But there was like two people that like didn't really know how to catch him or whatever. So they, well, this one guy came up. He's like, he's like, wait, you said you just caught him? I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, do you know the IVs? I was like, no, I haven't checked yet. I said I just caught him. So uh, he was like. He's like, well, I missed, like, four balls, and he's like, how many did you get? I was like, I only got nine balls, I said, but I got them on, like, the third or fourth throw that I did, something like that. He was like, well, I missed, like, three or four balls, and he's like, he jumped out at the last couple. I'm like, like, wait, so you didn't catch him? He's like, no, unfortunately, I didn't get him. I'm like, that's a bummer. I can't imagine getting this special raid pass from Niantic. Like, oh, hey, go and do this experimental raid for us and see how you like it and see how you do, and then not catch him. I, most people I know said they did catch him. Uh, this Asian lady that was standing next to me, she caught hers before I caught mine, but she was also in a different lobby than I was, and hers was pretty good. I don't know what her, her IVs were. Like I said, mine's like a 90 or something. like Mine's 90 or above 90% IVs, so it's pretty good Mewtwo. I tested him out against uh, Machamp yesterday, I think. Yeah. And I did a level 3 raid with like two other people, and he stood it. He was in a decent amount of time. I mean, he's not a great battler, but he's just, it's cool to have to the decks, and it's cool to have something rare that most people don't have yet, so, um, but yeah, it was a fun experience, like I said, uh, and then, of course, I got news right before, like, days before I was gonna go to this raid, I got news that Niantic is making it so more and more people are gonna have the EX raid passes, they're gonna be available for, like, parks and stuff, now that they're gonna have raid ba EX raid battles there, uh, they're gonna do them as sponsored gym still too, but they're making it so more and more people can get him, which is awesome because everybody should be able to have him eventually. But like I said, for the time, I like, like I said, not just because I already have him, but it's cool. Like I said, it's it's it's, it's it can't not get words to mouth right now. It's cool to have something that not everybody has yet. So, and me being at the level, I just actually hit level 30 today, so I'm super excited about that. And now I'll be able to, like, if somebody says, oh, there's 100% whatever in my area, they'll pick them up because they'll be 100% IV for me too. But yeah, so like I said, it was a fun experience, and I like that I have something that most people don't have yet, so it's cool. I'm not trying to, like, brag about it, but, you know, it was fun. So anyways, I think that's kind of the update video that I'm doing for this. Like I said, I'm trying to keep these... Moving along because, I mean, Christmas is coming. I'll have a camera soon, hopefully. But I need to keep up to date with what's going on. And there's Niantic has been, or Niantic has been a lot better about communication lately. So that's been really nice. Um, but yeah, wish me luck on my first ho-ho raid. You're in the camera angle right now, Miss Drugs. 
Um, because I'm gonna go do a ho ho. I think if it's as long as it's ho ho, I'm gonna go do it in about an hour here. So, but I gotta check the Facebook group chat because um we gotta plan a time to meet up. So, if anything, I'll screen record uh the battle scene or a little bit of it because not everybody likes watching those. And then I'll screen record like the catch sequence because I want to see how difficult it is. Hopefully I get one because it's only here for two weeks and then it's gone. So, anyways, uh, there might be another whole thing to this video. So, maybe I'll catch you later. Unfortunately, like I said, I cannot do, like, you know, vlogging it. I wish I could. Anyways, I hope y'all are having a great day, though. Uh, and maybe I will see you later with the whole, like, talking about how easy it was or how hard it was to battle him. So, peace out for right now. Okay, so it's really, really loud where I'm at, but I just did another ho-ho raid, caught that one, so I have two now. Um, he was an 80% or 82% IV. Uh, basically, we're going to talk about real quick how the yesterday's went, how I thought, how simple the raid was. Um, so we'll just get into that raid real quick, because i got to finish editing this video and then get it uploaded for you guys. Okay, so overall, ho-ho raids are not too difficult. The counters, like I said before, are electric, rock, and water. And I just did another one two seconds ago, 2180. So it was an 82% IV. Um, I, my first one I did yesterday was like, I think with like 10 to 12 people with my Facebook group. We took it down probably about a minute, if that. Um, I recorded the battle scene and then the catch sequence bonus part of it. So I'll add that to this video. But. Overall, I think you probably could do it with eight. I don't know anybody who's attempted with eight yet, but the most I've already done, I just did it with a group of 20, and I'm downtown. Um, but like I said, 12 I did yesterday. I'm trying to think of what else. Overall, he seems pretty simple to take down, and then I think it's an interesting like, catch bonus with him because it's like he's almost popping out of the screen, so he's super close. So like the spin is. Sorry, I got a phone call and I don't know why. I just stopped my video. So, anyways, I was going to talk about so like when you do your curveball, if you add like a golden raspberry, you gotta like almost just throw it like almost like a straight up so that it hits him. You get a great or whether you get your nice, great or excellent um, catch or your throw. My bad. Uh, is how good you are at throwing. But overall, it's like he's super up and close and personal, so he's rather easier to hit versus the dogs and the other birds. Although I didn't catch uh, Moltres, Zapdos, or Onokuno, which is really bummer. I'm waiting for those guys to come back for Niantic to like re-release them again. Anyways, I gotta go edit this video. I'm kind of cold because it's only like 40-some degrees downtown today for class. So I'm gonna go edit and try and get this uploaded ASAP so y'all can watch it. But I just wanted a quick video, so I will catch y'all in the next one whenever I do another one. So peace out.